Transitioning out of the military can be complex, but building a civilian-style resume doesn't have to be. Today, we will be reviewing how to demilitarize your resume so that your job search is successful. First, know that your military experience is important. The SIUE Career Development Center thanks you for your service and your dedication to our country. Your military experience should not be buried, but rather marketed as transferable experience and knowledge. In fact, did you know that some employers even have preference for veterans when considering their hiring needs? It is important to reflect on what you're seeking prior to writing your resume. Make sure that your resume is designed to target your goals and the experience you are looking for. Consider your skills, training, and knowledge, and how you can create a strong connection between your experience and what you are searching for in a career. It may help to research what the employer is looking for in a candidate and work backwards from there. Even if you are not quite ready to apply for positions, take a look at some sample job postings on websites like Indeed.com for the positions you may consider applying for in the future. ONET Online and the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the Occupational Outlook Handbook are another great way to research career areas and specific data related to industries and occupations. There are even great resources specifically for veterans on these websites to research careers that are related to specific branches and military positions. A large focus when writing your civilian style resume should be translating and eliminating any specific military jargon. For many civilians, military work descriptions can be much like reading a foreign language. Although you may know and recognize specific accolades and achievements, they may not stand out to a hiring manager if the achievement is not spelled out in a way that most civilians would understand. Remember to define any acronyms or technical terms. For example, use supervisor as opposed to NCO, or helicopter versus the Apache. A way you could double check this is to have a career counselor or someone who is not familiar with military jargon review your resume. Think beyond the job duties and tasks performed and draw the hiring manager's attention to skills that can be utilized in most positions or industries. These skills are called soft skills. Examples of soft skills or transferable skills could include time management, communication, multitasking, and attention to detail. The military also offers a lot of meaningful recognition. As long as you define your accomplishments for civilian language, it is important to demonstrate your leadership and merits while serving in the military. Again, the SIUE Career Development Center values and appreciates our veterans. If you have any questions about your resume or would like to have a career counselor review your resume, please send it to the Career Development Center today or make a resume critique appointment.